Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, Welcome to Red Tool House. House. In today's video, we're, we're going, going to be start talking working about on our planting in the and, garden today. Uh, setting so the trellises in place. Hey, are you in my video? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm supposed to be doing the video <laughs> no, today. What's your video on? Planting. My video is on building all the hardware and the hardscape in the garden. Are, are we crossing streams? Don't you know you're not Did supposed you to cross streams? My video? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Two places at the same time. This is crazy. It's like stereo. Take your video elsewhere. <laughs> right. Don't, because I need your help. <laughs> so, so you need <laughs> trellises put in place, and you're going to plant. Yes. Okay. Well, let's. Hello, everybody. We're going to move over to Kelly's video. <laughs> Things are going to be clearer and prettier when we move over to her video. So join us. Okay, so you're going to do some trellises, do some planting with the trellises. So I need to help you set those. So you're going to detail the fence on your video? Uh, yeah, at some point we'll kind of show what we've done, what we're doing. I think now that we've figured it out, it took us a couple nights to figure out exactly how to build it. <laughs> so we'll detail that. So let's talk trellises. We have these tarps that have been down since this winter um, to keep back the weeds. Um, and so it, it's we're gonna need to pull those up now. Um, we've just uncovered a small area like we planted in my last video, we planted this row here and I'm so excited because there are things popping up. Um, but now that we're gonna do more planting, we're gonna probably go ahead and pull out all these tarps. Um, and uh, we're gonna start today though with trellises and um, over in this area here, this is part of our garden that has not been used yet. This is all new space. So we're gonna pull back this tarp and the plan is to put in two arched trellises here using the cattle panels, like you've probably seen on Roots and Refuge and several other people use those. We've not used those before, so I'm excited to try those this year. But we're gonna try to put two in this space here. And then back up here in this area, we added the chicken manure here in this rectangle um and this this is all new space as well this year and um we're going to do two arches in this space too so we're going to get started on that we're going to go ahead and pull up this tarp and hopefully it's done what it needs to do and there's no weeds there at all So you can see in this space that it's all brown and mostly everything is um, dead, except we do have a few big resilient weeds that are poking their heads up. Um, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. like these tarps um, really helped for holding back the weeds um, to give us good space for growing. I'm excited to get started. So we're gonna have two trellises here where Troy's working and um, arched over this way so that where he's walking right now and, and shoveling, cleaning out a walkway there um, taking some of that good dirt and moving it over to where the plants are actually going to be planted. And then where he's walking, we will um, put wood chips or maybe some wood planks down so that that's not just a muddy mess to walk through. Where do you want this first one to start? So, um, I want it to start as close as possible to the walkway to make it as tall as possible okay. um, we and leaving some feet. space yeah here. we estimated right. five feet with our arc i think right? so yeah um fellas would you mind in the toolbox and then back to the side by side grab my tape measure 
the rigid one, not the fabric one. The smaller of the two. You can go on that way. You can go on that way. We said five feet was the span. Maybe here. Huh? Oh, wait, I see. Back to there. She goes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Boys, want to help me carry this panel panel to Dan? Yeah. Okay, so now that we have our two posts in the ground of where we think they need to be to stretch the cattle panel between them. I'm just making this walk way wider and putting the uh, compost in the area that the plants are going to be planted and making this walk way a little bit lower. It's a bit tight if you were to come to you. Yeah, so this is what we're going to do. But we're gonna... Stand it up. Let's go over here and stand. All right. You need to pick it up. Parfait, y'all. Now, how do you? Go that way. Right? Good. What's new? Where you going? <laughs> Squeeze! It's like me trying to get in my pants after Thanksgiving. Stop it! Let me in first. No, you! There's something attached to it on the top there. Watch the two post drivers so you don't twip over. Got to be so aggressive and everything. It's like a bowl in a china shop, ain't she? hard your enthusiasm. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is going to be enough. Now which way you going there, sugar bars? Didn't go over enough for you. <laughs> Where are you going to stick that, missus? Can't do that. You don't know the laws of physics. <laughs> <laughs> Are we not bending them in the first place? Go. You're tearing up your dirt. You tell me what I'm tearing up. Telling you. Okay, 
Put it in there. Don't make me do the hard work. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's so scary how symmetrical that is. I mean, scary. What's scary is, well, we've got our trellises, our arches put up, and we've got the dirt moved to where we think we need it to be. And so now we're all set to start planting. This is our first two trellises here, and we've got good soil at the base of those, both sides. This is the other two trellises that we put up, and it's in an area where we don't have good soil. So that's just clay underneath there, and then the dead grass that, were, that was just yard last year. So we're gonna have to move soil up to the base of both sides of these trellises before I can do any planting in that, and that may not happen today. two trellises I'm planting cucumber and zucchini this is cucumber and we all really love cucumber now Troy's just coming around to it he used to pick them out of a salad but he's starting to eat them now um, and then the zucchini I did not grow zucchini in the past um, but it's one of the ingredients that I use in homemade dog food so um, that's one of the reasons I'm growing it, but also I'd like for us to eat more of that. Well, we've got these two arches here planted uh, in the front of the garden, and I'm really excited to see how these take off. We are probably going to continue working today. I'm gonna to get some tomatoes and possibly some peppers planted, um, but it's very exciting for me to see the garden starting to take shape for this year. It's always an exciting time of the year for us, so. Um, I think we'll wrap up this one here and thanks for joining us.